Hi, my name is Carl Torchmans, and I've been asked many times by people, why do you want to become, or why did you become a correctional officer? And what do you have to do to become a correctional officer? So I developed this little plan called Keeping It Simple Stupid Plan, also known as KISS. First, plan to stay or finish school. Earn a high school diploma or GED and basic work experience. Applicants who have prior law enforcement or military experience can benefit from the uh, skills developed there as they prepare you for the job. Military police, commercial secu security officers, for example, uh, that have done patrolling, guarding military installations, report writing, investigating crime scenes, and conducting some type of uh, suspect interrogation have the uh, upper hand on applying for a job in corrections. Corrections requires a lot of flexibility. It requires you to be able to handle all types of situations, including potentially violent ones. Physical aptitudes required to pass agility, physical training, and physical testing for the job requirements. This means that you've got to get in shape before applying for a job in corrections. Corrections officers are also required to be U.S. citizens and pass a background check. Potential employers may review an applicant's criminal history and look for felony convictions. Candidates for corrections work often need a verifiable work history and the ability to pass a drug test. Secondary education is very helpful but not required. However, it is strongly encouraged that as you attain the probationary status and go into the permanent status of your job to start preparing to attend an academic training course at a uh, accredited university or college because as you become a correctional officer the first thing you'll do is attend an academy that will probably take you away from home. Second, you'll do a rigid complete on-the-job training program under the supervision of a mentor or a field training officer. After you've completed these uh, tasks, continue to ask, to, uh, continue to seek and ask additional training and ask for other resources, for example, the ACA or American Correction Association, and look up www.corrections.com for more training. Proceed with your extended education. Seek to attain a degree in criminal justice or related fields. That includes sociology and other business administration fields that may benefit your uh, career growth. Continued education credits are avail valuable in career growth and help the career ladder. Attend criminal justice seminars and conferences as they give you valuable insight on current events. Volunteer to be a field training officer or mentor once completing the probationary term. What can you expect from your job assignments? Prisons may offer pay differential based on risk factors and training requirements. You may get hazardous pay for working max custody or detention units. You may get shift differential for working odd jobs or weekends, but be prepared to rotate shifts and work weekends and holidays. Seek assistance from a FTO or a mentor to make sure that your efficiency and proficiency on your job assignment is at the level you expect it to be. What can you expect from corrections? You can expect high stress and high anxiety. You can expect dis disrespect from the inmate population and conflicts at the workplace. Sometimes the conflict is, is among each other. Sometimes the conflict is with the prisoners. Depending on the unit that you work at, the morale and the culture of these uh, workplaces dictate the mood or the uh, environment that you work in. Be prepared to work double shifts or overtime. And if you're expecting an exciting eight hours a day or uh, exciting duty assignment, be prepared for some boring ones as well. Be prepared for a fractured chain of command and ask a lot of questions. Be prepared for poor morale and poor supervisory support. A lot of these supervisors today are new at the job themselves and haven't attained the necessary skills to be good positive supervisors. And I encourage you to support them in their growth as well. Avoid the negativity in the workplace. You will realize the high turnover will impact you and your team building because this is the kind of work that you will bond with each other to become a team. Whether on shift or unit or complex, the reality is that you will develop long-term friendships with each other while working as a correctional officer. 
the retirement benefits will be good and you will have good vacation benefits unless you live in one of those states where private prisons are at the cusp of uh, taking over state or public prisons this is uh, something that is good for every family member to uh, fall back on and as you work toward that retirement you can realize positive career growth and development opportunities that will make you a better correction officer through the years you will face challenging crisis intervention events you'll have suicides you'll have escapes you will have disturbances you will have many of the things that they teach you about in the academy and you will earn and learn a proficiency in the use of force weapons and etc thank you